Mobile Geek's coverage of CBIT 2015 is powered by ASUS. Uh, shall I look at you or in the camera? Uh, look at me. Okay. My name is Zoltan Rendesh. I'm from QBlog and we are at CBIT in the Codan competition. This is QBlog. Home automation, remote control for all the smart things around you and of course all the non-smart things around you. It's modular hardware, every module is a different protocol. Uh, we cover all communication protocols from Zigbee, Zigwave, uh, Bluetooth, uh, IR, RF, uh, Wi-Fi and 3G. And uh, also that's the base module here with the battery inside. Uh, it's running on Intel Edison. We are early adopters of Intel Edison, uh, great chip. Uh, and uh, so it, if whenever you lose connection to the cloud, it would do local computing and archiving for you. And what you can do with us is basically hook up any device around you. If you have like smart devices like Nest, we hook them up via API. If you have semi-smart devices like the smart bulbs or the smart plugs, you, we connect them up via communication protocol. Uh, as I told you, we cover all of them. And if you have old devices, you want to recycle in your automation ecosystem, we can hook up like old like window shade uh, openers, garage door openers, even your old garden sprinkler or your old thermostat in, uh, uh, in, the, in, uh, in your home. And we can make them smart or give you the smart home experience on those old devices too. This is basically one example for a scene on your home hub or on your mobile phone. We have native apps for, of course, iOS and Android. Uh, it's an HTML5 based software up in the cloud, run, running in the cloud. And you can set your nest from here to, let's say, 29 degrees. We want to heat it up here because it's really cold in Hanover. And of course, you can you can control their, we lost connection, but well, it's, you see it's... I can pretend that was still a can connection, pretend. it's fine. Uh, okay, it's just I cannot move the roller shutter, so it's, we, we just, it's gonna come back, come along. This is an example of how all the things in your device which are in connection with cooling off, this, uh, the old thermostat, you can switch it on, set values for it and also like a wall fan, anything you have on a Fibaro wall plug, G-Link, a Wemo switch. Uh, also, you, you can control your lights and entertainment system, like your smart speakers, currently it's Sonos, uh, and you can change the color of your bulbs, or uh, since we lost connection, nothing is going to change there, so <laughs> don't worry about it. There's no internet at, at, at Sebit. Yeah, that's Sebit's famous for that. Yeah. So, um, and also, if you go out from the house, you can control anything in your garden. If you have a garden sprinkler, you can schedule that. And uh, also, also the wireless plant guards like Kobuchi and Parrot. We have uh, uh, the big data uh, layer too, the big data analytics layer, so you can check uh, your your uh, historical data and everything it's fully customizable how you can acquire the data uh, and uh, also we have the security thing if motion is detected smoke uh, anything which is related to security so we, the, um, the data just came back on and Edison remembered what you said so the temperature yes, went up temperature to 29, went up to 29. yeah and I saw something else happen down here yeah, I can't I, remember what. Yeah, I think I switched <laughs> back and on everything. So I, I think okay. it was on and off. So some things just lit up and then... Uh, and also we have... Uh, you can edit your workflows here. It's okay. uh, there. Are, I hope there will be connection because it's we are on the same Wi-Fi here. So everything is very, very slow. Let me tell you a bit about the business model while we are waiting for that. So our business model is B2B2C. Uh, we want to enable companies like utilities, energy companies, telcos, and OEMs to execute their IoT strategy. So we are not going to the B2C market directly with this. So we can enable them to basically put their smart metering on adrenaline, uh, let, um, enable them to sell bundled devices for smart home uh, with our hub in the middle without actually developing the front end and the back, back end and the big data analytics and the user experience and everything. So uh, that is our business model. We are currently in negotiations with some big players in Europe. If, 
uh, even in Germany. And uh, so this is the scheduler. This is basically a regular scheduler, time-based and uh, day and time-based. Uh, but you can set months and days, so it can be a date. Like Nest only has a weekly scheduler. We, you can schedule anything. And uh, oh, you can do automation with Blockly. This is an, uh, you can build automation workflows. Uh, it's uh, syntax aware, so you cannot make bad automation. Everything will make sense what you put together. And of course, to the ones who are who doesn't like to interfere with that that much, you use the node editor, just set a value, and then if it's equals or smaller or bigger than that, and then set a relay which would trigger an action and connect those uh, to, I would need st the stylus, but yes, I made success. Oh, there you go. So you can connect those up. And uh, also we are IFTTT compatible, so all your favorite recipes can work with Kubelog and everything hooked up to Kubelog. So that's uh, something which would uh, help with your recipes because a lot of things are not IFTTT compatible, but compatible with Kubelog. More things, I guess, are compatible with Kubelog now than with IFTTT. So, I get, so you can control those in an IFTTT recipe too. It's also voice enabled, so you can talk to it from the car if you're hands-free. You just uh, launch the app and you can tell uh, your home to set temperature to 23. I'm coming in, open the garage, uh, like uh, uh, switch the security system off and, uh, and all those things. And it's connected to wearables, a lot of things we don't even show here, smart TVs. Uh, basically everything you have around you. And if people want more information, where do they go? www.cubilog.com. Perfect. Thanks so much. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs>